Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and that just a quick video about incoming DLC slash bundle that you will be able to purchase with next DLC and the problem that I see with it. The big issue I have, again, it's happening again. You probably remember what happened when Recharger was first added for Fusion Core. Huge thing, but only available with real money. And is it happening again? Look at this picture. That's a repair bot. That's not a regular collection. And how do I know that? Okay, you can take a look on other rewards if you didn't check that. It's available on Steam. Like you can see it on Steam. You cannot buy it yet, but it's already a description as it's Enclave Armory Bundle. So we know it will be real money purchase only. I don't know the pricing yet. I'm expecting around 30 bucks and it will include power armor, outfits, jetpack, the prefix and suffix for your character name. And here is description. So Enclave Lab Shelter is basically the background. So it's not shown on the picture. It's the background for that. It's from the raid as a shelter. Enclave Technician Outfit, Enclave Technician Helmet, Vertiguard, Power Armor Paint for Enclave, the Jetpack for the Power Armor, Enclave Repair Bot. Trust the Enclave to keep your camp at tip top shape. And I heard about this repair bot before from Dutch's Flame website. I read about it. So I was hoping it is coming with the season pass. And I was disappointed I didn't notice a repair bot on the season pass. So then I was like, yeah, probably coming with a bundle inside Atomic Shop. Nope. It's separate, real money only, so no atoms, nothing else can be used to purchase that. What exactly does this bot do? Here's on Dutch's Flame website, we have Collectron Enclave Repair Board Station. This is data mined information, so it may be a little bit different, but the idea is it will be repairing your camp, so that stays because it's in description. And what it does, you can build one per camp, uh, cannot build other repair bots. Under resources, you will find it like other collectrons, but what it will be doing repairs camp items at a rate of 2% per hour. I'm not sure if that's going to stay uh, or is it just data mined and we're testing in the past. So I'm not 100% sure if that will be the value. And I don't know yet because it's not yet in game how it will be calculated. If it will be repairing your camp when you are offline, then that's huge because even with this rate, after one day, it will be 48% repaired on everything. It will not be able to repair something that completely broke. So what it, it will be repairing, you know, those annoying items at your camp that are barely holding with over half broken and you cannot repair it until they fully break. So it will be repairing them back to full health, to full condition. And now with it being locked behind a huge real money bundle, so basically around 30 bucks to be able to have this huge QOL item, quality of life item in your camp. I honestly really don't like this idea. I'm against those. Like why? Why we cannot, why those really good items need to be locked up behind huge price? And not even in Atomic Shop, not a season pass. And we pay for a season pass. I'm not, I'm not telling absolutely free, but put it behind regular season pass that you can purchase with atoms and atoms you can earn in game. So it will be available or in Atomic Shop for atoms for people that go, don't care about cosmetics and just want those utility items. They could have get them with atoms, but if it's not there, that's a big problem. If, what if you don't want all other stuff, but you want this utility? You still need to spend money to get it. Like, I don't personally like it. In my opinion, it's, it's going slightly too far. It was like that with Fusion Core Recharger, and now it's like that with Reaper Bot. Fusion Core Recharger eventually was added to Atomic Shop, but it was like 6 to 12 months later. I don't remember exactly. It was much later. So is that happening again? That's my opinion, of course. 
you feel free to disagree. Just let me know what you think. Is it fair or is it not fair, in your opinion? After all, the game belongs to Bethesda. They can do whatever they want. I just don't feel like it's a right thing to do.